have artist Taylor White in town this week with an organization called No Blank Walls. She's done this awesome mural behind us. But Taylor, you have also lived all over the world and painted walls all over the world. So where is home to you? Uh, well, um, I am from Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, moved back a couple of years ago and I'm sort of just settling into the idea of renaming it home again. Okay. Um, I reconnected with Raleigh after living abroad for about five years. Hopped around a little bit, but I lived um, in Norway and uh, Melbourne, Australia for the longest period. Um, so, you've lived a bunch of different places. In your opinion, what makes Raleigh feel like home? Or what makes, you know, Norway or Australia feel like home? What is it about those places that give them a sense of home for you? Well, I think that Raleigh is home because my roots are here. My family's here. Both my parents still live here. Uh, at the time that I moved back, my brother still lived here. Um, and I think that being away for so long I think the, the main thing was that I, I, was, I would come home for Christmas every year and every year my parents would look visibly older and it hit me one year that I was living on the other side of the world for my family who wasn't going to be around forever and I kind of just felt homesick for probably the first time in five years and decided it might be time to come back and just see what, see what it would be like to be closer to home. And it turns out Raleigh's cool now. It used to be. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah. Raleigh's cool now. Good to know. So in all of those places that you've lived, is there anything in those places, or maybe the people that you've met in those places, that have come to feel like home, that inspire your work or your art um, in any sort of way? Um, well, you know, I think in the most indirect way, the, I have a local community in Raleigh that has, is, is the direct subject matter in a lot of the paintings that I'm making now, which I think of, like my earlier work, I painted a lot of uh, a lot of children and a lot of like sort of um, vague identities and everything, and there was like an element of sort of like wandering and feeling lost and like reminiscent and everything. And then I came back here and started. And I almost immediately got bored with that, like, you know, motif. And started getting involved in my local dance community. And being really inspired by movement and how they were connecting with each other and how we were connecting with each other. And then, literally just started taking photographs of them. And making paintings based on those photographs. And that, that sort of deepened the connection to here. Too. So does um, a lot of your work come from photographies? I mean, more and more now. Like, I used to sort of like pull references from all over the place, but it became like a real pain in the ass to try and find exactly what I needed, and then I realized I could take my own photos. Um, I'm terrible at it, but it's just, just for reference, it's perfect. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, oh, if people who are watching this video or people who are, are interested want to see more of your work, where can they find that? Instagram. Most of my uh, updates um, can be found on Instagram. I have, I do keep a website, which is a little bit more static than my social media, but that's the main spot. If you're interested in finding more of Taylor's work, we will put links to all of that in the description below. Uh, thanks again for talking to us today. Um, check out more of Taylor's work, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.